Hi everybody, this is Rich from IO Audio. Just going to do you a small video about sibilance and how you can reduce sibilance in your recordings. Um, I'm just working on a voice reel at the moment, so I am just at the stage where I'm starting to process the voice. And one of the the, the things that I do is to use EQ. Um, you can you you can get plugins that can reduce sibilance and and that's great. Um, th this is my process. I tend to use a bit of EQ uh, and a plugin as well. Um, but yeah, just just use what you feel that you need to do. Again, I always suggest. Um, before any processing that your recordings from source are at a good level um, and obviously choosing the right mic and the right equipment to help you reduce sibilance is a, um, a good way forward as well. But once you've got to the recording stage and you're still finding that there's a bit of sibilance on your recordings, then uh, this is what I tend to do. So um, I've got an EQ set up here and what I do is to use a notch filter. If we just move this over here, and then I'll just hit the record, hit the play button on here. They love more frequently, and all of this can help stimulate so the memory. The, With Alzheimer's the notch home filter, care. the notch filter, as you can see there, what I'll do is f sweep through the frequency spectrum uh, and just try and highlight where those sibilant points are. So if we play this. An individual can get the medical support they need in the place they know and love the best, their own home. Homes aren't just buildings. They hold lots so of memories, items of sentimental value. Patients can and also then, be... And then I just reduce it a little bit using the notch filter. W once you get to um, know your own voice, um, you, you'll be able to see on the waveform, uh, on the... Uh, on the EQ um, where the sibilant parts are popping up so if we have a look um, at the EQ again so if I just take that back up it'd be around the ones they love more so frequently where the uh, S's are and all of this can help stimulate the here. memory with Alzheimer's home care an individual can get the medical support they need so using a parametric EQ um, you can see uh, where the voice is popping up around here. So in the place they know and love the best, their own home. So around homes there. aren't just so buildings; they hold lots of memories, items of sentimental so value. I'll just reduce it a little Patients bit. Patients can also be around the ones they love more frequently, and all of this can help stimulate the memory. With Alzheimer's home care, an individual can get the medical support they need. In so that's reducing the kind of ch 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 of the voice. Um, so it, it tends to be around this uh, this band of frequencies here between 5k and 10k um, and yeah let's just get another one over here see if we can take out a little bit more in the place they know and love the best their own home homes aren't just buildings they hold lots of memories items of sentimental value patients can also be around the ones they love more frequently and all of this can help stimulate them let's just isolate that the memory and all of this can help stimulate the memory and all of this can help stimulate so this is with the EQ off the memory and all of this can help stimulate the memory and this is with the EQ on and all of this can help stimulate the memory and all of this can help stimulate the memory so it's reduced it a little bit there uh, and then what you can do is um, I normally then put a little bit of compression on the voice um, after I've EQ'd uh, the voice. And all of this can help stimulate the memory. And all of... Try not to over-compress things because it, it can bring out uh, sounds that you don't necessarily want to bring out, like clicks and more sibilance and stuff like that. So just be aware of uh, the, the, how much compression um, you're using. Uh, and I always uh, tend to put the sibilance and the de-click um, function on after I've done the EQ and the compression. So if we have a look at the sibilance plugin and move that over here and there is a preset on there that says voiceover and I just tend to use that and then tweak it. Um, depending on uh, how kind of tight the sibilance is 
if it's just some like top end of of the s then you can kind of narrow this detection uh, button here so that it makes it uh, narrower and just focuses in on um on a tighter band of frequencies uh so let's just play that this can help stimulate and you can monitor it so if i open this detection up it picks up a little bit more of that s but i can just narrow it down so it's very focused so that's really focused on that s now Turn memory the off. and all of this can help stimulate the memory and all of this can help stimulate the memory so there you go that is just a couple of tips on how to reduce sibilance in your recordings for more videos watch our uh, youtube channel and like and subscribe to the channel for more content cheers bye <laughs>